Like, Super Metroid is a damn good game. And Shine Sparking is a cool mechanic. And what I did, okay, it just hit me that Three, this is the same two, character. One, go! Oh, god damn it, you're right. It, right. Just, oh. it just hit me. Like, it just hit me that we have the two characters that it's just a dog with a bird on their back. Bento is not a like, dog. What? But still, okay, still, 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 still. Like, the point being, like, unless you're talking about like my bird dog. Assist, case, yes, it's bird assist character. Isn't there like, like a, bird isn't there a uh, a duck hunt color alt that's like a nod to Banjo Kazooie or that people say it? Maybe. Is? I mean, for the Banjo trailer, it had duck hunt. Hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. With the juke? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They 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 faked them out. Quick question: What breed uh, of dog is is a uh, duck hunt right now? Uh, Dalmatian. Thank no, you. No, right now, basset hound. Beagle. Beagle. Okay. Beagle. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe? No. I will check. That's a beagle. That's gotta be a beagle. It's not a beagle. What is he? A, a Snoopy? Snoopy right. is a beagle, I thought. Snoopy is a beagle, I think. Alright, never yeah. mind. Yeah, Snoopy is a beagle. Yeah, alright, forget it. Forget He's it. a cartoon. Forget it. He's a cartoon. He is of no dog breed. He isn't real. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's actually talk about this game, which yeah. for the past while has been going on and clear and solid lead for Zane. However, as we've seen, I feel like, you know, like Topian Ray has been losing a lot of game ones because he's taking the time to feel out his opponents. Um, you know, and although he didn't actually manage to take the set against uh, Super Pi, nonetheless, you know, he got to game five. It was super duper close after game one was yeah. so decisive. Yes, so yes. right now I do feel like Utopian Ray, he's down by quite a bit, but he's absorbing information like a like a bright-eyed infant, you know? Like a brain sponge. <laughs> Ew, I like mine better. Yeah, I like yours better too. <gasps> hey, yo, that, that, dude, so that gunman died. That was so good. Life. <laughs> the, the, that the damage, the capitalization. So freaking hard. What was that? That gunman got wondering so freaking hard. For the greater good. Yeah, it's like getting. It's like the. It's like those. Um, the crash test footage you see of like a school bus getting hit <laughs> by a train. It's like. Oh my All god! Right. That wasn't even. That wasn't even a jump call. That was like a that's you're just, going to be here call out. Yeah, it was just a school. Yeah. I mean, Banjo up smash, I think, is relatively fast, so... Yeah, yeah. That's a catch-you move. And uh, Zane's sick sitting very pretty right here. This is, like, this you is know? where you're so content to take trades, too. Yeah, I'll also say, Can so... Hand trades, grenade oh. trades, yeah. Before, we were seeing how Banjo, uh, Ray's Banjo loves to, you know, go at sort of full hop height and, you know, do these B-reverse, drop the grenades, but the can just goes up to meet him. He can't be in the zone that he wants to, not when he has to worry about, uh, the can as a factor, and that's the last, oh my. Was that, the, was that two, um, that Miss with, input Wonder Wings. Yeah, yeah. that's costly. Yeah. Yoi. Definitely at the end there, we saw some... It, it possibly could have been the result of Wi-Fi, but, you know, misinputs yeah. are misinputs, and against a player like Zane, you can't be doing that. You're not yeah. You're not going to win if, you, if you're misinputting like that. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we've said it. We've said it before. We've seen it before. Um, if you're Utopian Ray, first game's data, and that's going to have to hold up here. Um, and like, the, like, and we're seeing in the replay, like there, there was a lot to like in game number one for Utopian Ray. Um, but Zane, I think we've seen all evening has really just shown such a propensity to like suffocate 
even a character like Banjo with some of the best zone breaking tools in the game, when, I mean, they're not being misinput when you're trying to spawn grenade, but, um... All right, I'm really curious what zone uh, Utopian Ray ends up occupying. You know, whether it's the mid-range, whether it's above, like, you know, diagonally. I feel like that's going to be really important for the neutral is the positioning. And yeah. right now, yeah, we're seeing him be very much in at the mid-range. And, wow, Wonder Wing had a shield Big just punish. able to do all his damage. Game two, Utopian Ray. Okay, but the single opening, let's see what Zayn can do. 60% on Utopian Ray, not, especially for Banjo, who, you know, can be harder to kill. Uh, he's like, on the harder to kill side. Not just because yeah. of his weight, but because of his options. Um, yeah. And, and like, gimping, gimping is basically out of the question. Yeah, and uh, Duck Hunt is a character, we said before how Banjo, he has kill moves, but... It's hard to just land those kill moves in neutral, like, you know, if your opponent messes up just a little bit. I think Duck Hunt does also suffer from that. This is where I would talk about straight hit kill power. This is, like, the thing that, this is, like, the thing that I talk about all the time. Like, if there's a character like Ike or Cloud on the screen, I'm talking about how the character has straight hit kill power, which is, like, the moves that they're using safely in neutral are the moves that are going to kill you eventually under 200. Banjo, for all the kill power on, like, the F smash and the down smash and the forward air and the wonder wing, it's, like... Those aren't the moves that Banjo's throwing out. So, like, they can punish, like, they can punish a whiff, but, like, it does take a long time for their stray hits to start killing. Unless it's, like, a random forwarder. Okay. Oh! What? Is it the I've never heard this. I've, I've never, never heard this in my chance. life. Yeah. What? what? Did, did the Matrix just glitch? No, no, it's, it's the crowd. They're like, ba 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 banjo. But I didn't hear anything other than that. Well, what else were they saying there? I, I felt like they were, they were like giving me secret orders that I now have to follow. I mean, I'm All assuming right, it's ba 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 banjo Wiki. and kazooie or banjo. something. Yeah. But I'm, I'm looking this up on Smash Wiki right now. I've, I've never heard that in my life. Yeah. The crowd has never cheered. For Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd has never cheered for Banjo. Ah, that's good. Where do you find this? Press 1 if you've uh, heard that before. Crowd. Yeah, list of crowd cheers SSBU. There we go. All right, give me a second. Uh, Press 2 if you've never heard it before. Two. Oh, he said pressed. Oh, there's so many of these. The loading okay. all these, loading, loading all these OGG files is like making my browser freeze. I, I can't scroll down to Banjo yet. We'll get, we'll, we'll get back to it later on. Yeah. In the meantime, so Utopian Ray cleans up that stock. Very, very important for him. Uh, as we saw, the damage is racking up, and one good opening from Zane probably could have turned that stock lead into a lead for them. So now we're looking at the point where Zane got to close the stock out, actually manages to do it, and now we have 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, Utopian Ray definitely doing better in this game than he was last game, but it isn't, you know, it's not a decisive answer. Even if he does win this game, it is very, very close. <laughs> oh, that was that whiff was very like, and because now like that burns two Wonder Wings with no damage, but still in a pretty good position. Like you know, uh, percent leads are like at this point in the mat, uh, at this point in the game, percent leads do matter. Yeah, percent leads matter quite a bit, also because you know once a kill, like for instance, once Duck Hunt gets into the range where Wonder Wing will kill. Then all of a sudden it's like, I have to worry about Wonder Wing. I cannot forget that Wonder Wing exists. If I do, I will die. And now like, the, uh, with Duck Hunt's recovery, like Duck Hunt, specifically Duck Hunt's up recovering low is like, puts them in such a vulnerable situation. Like even if you're not gonna get a spike, you usually have to take like extra damage just from how long it takes to like gain vertical height. 
Oh, being able to capitalize, how much can he do? Oh no, it didn't get the second Oh, it's still this. going! Oh Is that my. It? Yo. Uh, Yo, Zane. Zane AFK has entered the chat. Holy crap. What? Was there nothing he could do? I love when duck hunts do that. It's so fun to watch. Oh, the trade there. Oh. That's so good. That's so good. Now Zane, um, Zane up two games in Loser's Finals. Nine Super Pie pleading with all the forces of reality to prevent this, uh, to prevent the set from ending the way that it is heading towards at this very moment. That was such a crazy string. So, was there a DI pack that could have gotten Utopian Ray out of that, or? You know, was, that's was a that good it? question. That is a good question. I have no idea. Cause I mean, like, it, there might have just been like a, like the great hitbox positioning. Um, I mean, let's go through and, like, it again. If, the, if they're it, like if the hitbox positioning is different. So then right maybe there, I realized that out. that you know yeah. that was the reset. Um, but yeah, getting hit by all of those uh, clays back to back. Well, it's frisbee man. Yeah, now we have uh, now we have Zane up clean two zero. Uh, granted, Utopian Ray definitely definitely not out of it. We've seen him do some amazing work in the past and he's given enough time he's gonna he, he just gets better against the player as as the set goes on um granted well, the thing is that zane might have a lot of tricks might have a lot I of a lot of little uh, little sneaky things hidden up their we, sleeve and uh yeah. just you know it's like even if utopian ray adapts to the current play style all of a sudden, that can get turned on its head if... Three, oh, two, okay, hold on. One, Duck Hunt could do that, go. you know, when that moment yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, at any point, you have to be vigilant because at any point, Duck Hunt can happen to you. Like, please, like, please call this number if you or someone you know is at risk of Duck Hunt. <laughs> Duck Hunt Prevention Hotline. Yeah. And get Wilford Brimley on the case. Yo, I love that trade. It's like, that was like a, the double psych on the can. Oh. Oh, wow. The maneuvering to get around that F smash was, uh, wow, crazy. Oh, I like the fact that Utopian Way went for that dash in, really trying to close the distance when, you know, Zane probably wasn't expecting it. But, oh, you know, oh wow, they're alive. What a, what a DI save. That's huge. Oh my God, that's, they almost got sniped in the upper blast zone with that can. The, the positioning with the can from Zane, like I know, like, I don't, I don't know what constitutes good positioning from, like, like I don't know what constitutes, like, crazy can control from a duck hunt perspective, but, like, from my perspective, everything that they're doing is insane. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so they're going, ba 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 banjo ka ka kazooie That's what they're, that's what the chant is. All right, Utopian Ray needs to clean this stock off. Already taking 47% and 154. It's like taunting, oh, you know? It's like I, so many moves could kill. But like, how do you actually land those moves when Zane is just playing around exactly. Ray's options so effectively right now? That probably is going to be it. Yeah, wow. with that percentage buried long enough that the up smash scoops him up. And that's it. And you talk, you, you talk about the scoop on the up smash. Um, we just saw three 
games of Captain Falcon struggling to do anything against uh, like a flat hit, but like a flat low hitbox like Duck Hunt, a scoop like the one on Banjo's uh, up smash is a perfect uh, like a perfect hitbox for dealing with that uh, for dealing with the uh, proportions of Duck Hunt's yeah. character. It's it's sort of thing where uh, Ray is definitely aware of that. He goes, he doesn't yeah. go for a lot of rising aerials. It's almost always late, like either late aerials or he does this, you know, a specifically angled grenade to try and pinpoint the duck hunt on the ground. Because uh, otherwise, it's still it's still really tough to hit this character. But with enough practice, with enough awareness, yeah, Ray is managing to find these big hits. And that's probably even effective on shield too, because like you do damage from a grenade or a falling aerial, and then you probably get enough shield damage to poke through with the scoop hitbox of the up smash. Or the Wonder Wing. Yeah. Wonder yeah, Wing true. shield stab is just. In a way, it's gross. Oh, in many ways, it's gross. Oh, oh yo, you got just got canned by your own can. He's just like, hey, is this yours? I found it. Wow, that actually worked better than I thought that would, because can is like a, it's a synonym for fired. Okay, let's go, me. Get can. Totally planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The can plan. Yeah. A man, yeah. a can, a plan. Oh, great wow. chase Zane down. I'm not sure. That, that might have been another miss input Wonder Wing, though. Um, it's hard to tell with some of them. And I'm so used to wondering, Wonder Wing being like a move that Banjo, like, it feels like they have the license to throw out more in a matchup. But, like, with Zane's can positioning, like, no Wonder Wing feels truly safe unless it hits. Because of how much end lag there is, and because of how, uh, be like, because of how far away uh, Duck Hunt's able to pressure the can. Oh my god, was that a double of uh, smash to try and get out of- Oh my god, I have no I have no clue what's going on, but Utopian and Ray in prime position to put a game on the board here. Uh oh. That being said, hot he still has to find the, the stock. Yep. Oh, oh! How did you get out of that? You- Oh no. Zay made what? a deal with the goddamn devil. What, what was- I- I- how on I earth still... did how on earth did Zane get out of their life? Man, if now, they actually managed to went, take right? this game after that. Oh my oh, god. Oh, but that's still a toll order. How yeah. many how many and Wonder Wings are, are I left? think only one. And now we gotta watch now you gotta watch out for the up tilt, you gotta watch out for back throw. Uh like as well as all the other culprits. But but if you ray, you have to watch out for all of these projectiles because they are adding yeah. up. 103 percent. Ray still Ray's not on a, able Ray to is, close out the stack. It, it, it's it's funny like there's the, the timer's really counting down, but Ray's really the one on the timer right now because like the 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 percent is adding up so much faster for Ray than it is for Zane. And if you can't find a grab, if you can't find like if you can't find something here. Honestly though, playing to the clock might be the oh. right call. We have a minute left. And Maybe. if you I'm not sure if he's paying attention to the clock, but like right here you have an advantageous advantageous position, but like otherwise don't engage. Just run away. Don't die. If he doesn't die. Oh. All right, there he wow. finds it. Wow. I was Sheesh. gonna say, like I don't even know. I don't even You can't just I don't know if you can really sit back and camp that though, because it's duck hunt. But the thing and is, like, Duck Hunt will do damage to you from range, but he's unless it, as long as you don't get hit by the can, you're not going to die. Gunman, though. Gunman, like, Gunman is a threat. Gunman can kill. I I think so. The the little I, the the one in the poncho can, I think. I thought they were all identical. Um, uh, I don't. They no. were not in Smash Four. I'm pretty sure they're different. Yeah. I mean, they they have different firing timings. I think the quick. I, I mean, beyond that, I thought that the 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 hitbox properties of all of them were the same. No, I'm pretty sure the faster ones are weak, and then the long ones are stronger. Hmm. But ask a dunk on pain. Yeah. Well, also, uh, we could check the um. 
the frame data website. Yeah. So they would have that. Yeah, so Utopian Ray managing to get a game on the board at the end of there, but even that was a struggle after being up by so much. The issue we're seeing him run into against almost every opponent is, you know, he, he's so amazing in neutral with this low risk sort of play style, and that kind of bites him when it comes to those higher percents because then sometimes he struggles to find the kill and one really dangerous opening is all it takes. Yeah, and I'm looking. I'm looking at the data. Um, the the short guy in the sombrero um, deals the most damage, 11 percent, and has like the KO percent can vary by like close to 50 percent. Um, with the lowest being the lowest being like around 150, and the highest being close to 200. So there, there is a, like basically like the. The, the one in the sombrero and the poncho, that's the one you gotta watch out for in terms of killing. Now, Utopian Race, um, kind of cooking here a little bit. Although, making it back to the stage is a puzzle, and not accomplishing anything with that sock lead. Put a uh, fresh set of wings on the board and a new lease on life. Uh, and this music is work. this music is throwing me for a loop. It's really peaceful, isn't it? It's 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 too peaceful. The, considering that we are seeing explosion after explosion here. Just when you think you're safe. <laughs> Needed a wake up. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. I'm awake now. <laughs> oh. oh my god, Utopian Race. Yeah, that is. Utopian Race awake now. Um. That's a that's a pretty scary that's a pretty scary stock because like even Duck Hunt who excels at tacking on damage, um, you do need to do a little bit more. Well, you know you you need to do a lot more work in order to get um, Banjo into kill percent here. And and Utopian Ray is that is pouring on damage, a deluge of damage. Inundated by damage. Yeah. And, and, and trades definitely work out in Banjo's favor here. Once again, though, we have to remember how the last game went, which was... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it looked similar to this and ended up being super duper last hit. And I'm pretty yeah. sure the game before that, Utopian Ray also had a lead almost comparable to this, and he ended up not being, like, Zane took it from him. And the story, like, the, the X Factor here is... It is it, like can Utopian Ray um, be able to like is Utopian Ray able to find the the killing blow here? Like find the okay yep yeah yeah that'll do it yep. Thank you okay. Thank you for you to thank you to I love it when I ask a question and the player answers immediately. I love when that happens. Oh, I don't know. Oftentimes I want I want them to dwell on it a bit more before it before my prediction comes true. Mm. That was a pop quiz, oh. and he, he was ready for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd like him to at least have, like, did show some study. consternation before. All confidence the there, baby. Mm. <laughs> I just got lime juice in my eye because I'm uh, uh, an idiot. Okay. Because uh, guys, stay hydrated. Drink water. Um, yeah. Hydrate or you'll die. And then if you're gonna put lime in your water to make it extra, you know, flavorful, 
don't somehow squeeze it into your eye. Yeah, pro tip. You gotta pro get... Pro tip. I just got, um, a, like, a citrus reamer, but it, it, it clicks into a measuring cup so that you can just, like, squeeze the thing, and it's it's got, like, little perforations, so you can squeeze the thing on the reamer, and then it just falls through the gaps in the reamer, like, into the measuring cup. It's genius. I use it to mix drinks all the time, and it is, like, it, it like, it truly, it has changed my life. Whoop. Okay. Speaking of life changing, we now have game. Yeah. This is game five. Oh, we've had two games a piece for each player, and every one of them, with the exception of game one, every one of them has actually been like very close. Mm -hmm. So now is the culmination of the past 30 minutes of play. I'm pretty sure that's how long we've been. These two have been at it. Everything that's been going on, all of the tiny little habits, all of those little inconsistencies in play, this is where they have to exploit it. This is where they have to bring it home because only one of these two players is going to be able to face off against Super Pi in Grand Finals. Yep. And it's this is, um, like, you think about Utopian Ray. Um, this is the second real, like, slobber knocker of a set that they've played. Um, like all, most like Utopian Ray, like and like this is after going like two one against Sensei, three one against Z minus three uh, two three against Super Pi. So Utopian Ray, despite only falling into losers bracket after losing to winner winners finals, so like not like you can't call this a losers run even if Utopian Ray like wins this set. Like this has been like a really like taxing and like mentally strenuous um, run in bracket so far. <laughs> also, I want to point out the characters nothing... he's had to be playing against. Exactly. Not the kind you can autopilot against in the least. And definitely that is not what he's doing. Calls out that air dodge, gets the up smash. And now we have even stock to Peach, which for these two characters, these two players, that's essentially an even game. Yeah. Oh, great capitalization. That's something yeah, we haven't like, seen. Uh, uh, just when you just when you think one of these players is out, they come up with a string like that that like fully evens up the percent gap. Like the swings of momentum, even in this game alone, have been really, really all over the place. Some strange recoveries coming out from Zane. Gets the job done. It it does, but he's you know they're taking more and more damage and. Right. 120. Once again, it we, we've seen how Ray can struggle to kill at those higher percents, but nonetheless, you don't it, getting like getting there in the first place just it's, it's scary. It's scary oh, yeah. facing down this man though. Oh, that's that's so huge. That's so huge. When it matters most. Oh. Um, Utopian Ray able to find the Wonder Wing that ki that takes that stock off the board, and this is such a huge opportunity to put on to, to tack on like a boatload of extra credit onto Zane's final stock. Forty three percent already, pretty good. Fifty, like every single successive hit. Oh my God! These from the brink out. of death. From the brink of death, Utopian Ray is back. He is on the cusp of being able to take this set. Only one stock left from Zane. He's at 91 already, and Utopian Ray trapped in the corner, but able to still find ways to get damage, to still put on this pressure. Oh. DBZ moment, they're way off stage. He needs the stock. The Wonder Wing actually bringing Utopian Ray back to the stage. Even that can's not enough. There's been three Banjo-Kazooie chants in this set so far. Honestly, they're deserved. I... Utopian Ray's play right now is looking so good. He's at 167. If he manages to avoid, like, by extending this stock, it's just... Oh, boy. Zane trapped just, in the corner At this more. point, for Utopian Ray, just don't get Clay Pigeon. Just don't... Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Somehow, though, Zane is alive and kicking. Yeah. There oh, it's a possible okay. way. He's he's at 163. This is terrifying. This is a horrifying situation if you're Zane. But nonetheless, we've seen that he has some crazy combos. If the right situation arises, oh, this could be oh, the start no. of it. Like, oh, yeah, and, and with there, Max but... Rage, too, I don't want any part of this duck hunt. That clay pigeon almost hitting at the last second there, but oh, Ooh. goes in for that grab, but jumps away from it. But jumping against Ray, that's so risky. And getting like oh, getting some more nickel and dime damage with the, with the set with the neutral beat, but 191 percent. He finally, there it is. I, oh. I love that, and I, I think that was a, I think that was a can, or it might have been a can. Because uh, something exploded in there, and if that was a can, then I love the decision making from Tobio and Ray to just go in there, and yeah, because there goes the can. Yeah, yeah he pulls the can. He just runs straight at Zane's face to force the can pull, and then to get the can to explode, take the trade, take the stock, take the game, take the set, take your way into grand finals. Oh my God. Never count this player out, ladies and germs. Yeah, and now we are going to be getting that rematch. We saw these two players face off in winners, uh, winners finals, and end up being game five, just going back and forth. That Wii Fit trainer, despite a character that definitely um, Utopian Ray has experience against, it must be the play style. It